You just threw it in the middle of the Oh, yeah, just whatever. Oh, wow, fabulous. Well, I, well, I, see, I hear an echo. Is that supposed to happen? This is my phone. Okay, that's better. It's, I still I can't hear, hear it, myself, but, but you can't hear yourself. Uh-uh. That's okay. It's her microphone. Maria. Maria's crazy. So hey, welcome to the show. What? Give me some volume. Something gotta happen. You you can't hear yourself. I can Well, you know, it's okay. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Maria's looking like a dad. So let me tell you. <laughs> okay. So I gotta tell you what. Shh. Don't talk. Did somebody say shh? Okay, so I went to um, Tapas with Rhonda, Rhonda Lingham. Of um, She also helps us with the fashion umbrella. So she took me to this place in Harbor East, which, you know, I, I know. I love that place. What, Tapas? No, I love Harbor East. I actually no, have no, Stockholm. What is it called? It. No, it's not called Tapas. What is it called? Solera? No, it's right on the corner by the hotel. Yeah, it's like um it's more of a sign. Spanish yeah. Spanish themed. Yeah, yeah very good called? food, very good cocktail. Trelar, no, Trelar, Trelar, Trelar. I said Trelar, like the, the money. damn car. Okay, he's waiting for the money. <laughs> Next break. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> can I hear you? <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because my inside thoughts when I come out on the outside, but I can't. It's not that type of show. Where's Denard? I need to know. <laughs> Denard, I miss you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So Maria's here. Yes. Maria Smith, Maria Styles, aka Top Kitty, aka House of Deco Fash owner, and Robbie is waiting. Oh, he wants you right there. What you want? Just talk. That's what we do. Well, yeah, um, yeah, we just need to grab a little vittles here. Um, <laughs> Maria always talks in catology. So yes, get I do. Ready. I do. I do. It's meow. <laughs> I hiss. <laughs> Clack claws. I'm out. Pause. <laughs> Next break. Next break, I'll be with you, sir, <laughs> Mr. Robbie. I can't concentrate. <coughs> okay, you will survive without a couple of vittles. Stay strong. Yeah, so we're here, and I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I just, you know me, I got to keep it real. So yes. today I had my first mojito. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're so good. It's the reason why the Yes, is. and they sneak up on you. Like, oh, you're like, oh, my, my goodness, this is like a fancy Sprite, and oh, it's got a little lime, and oh, it's got a little this. And then halfway through, you're like, hello. <laughs> it's happy hour. Yes. yes. They are so good, and I'm sure they're really, really good at Tularity. All of their cocktails are really oh good, God, and their appetizers the are good. Mango one, so Rhonda mm. told me what was in it. Mango? She said, well, wait a minute. She said, it's mango, vodka, lime, and mint leaves. So I said, oh, I got a drink with bushes in it. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, 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 no, wait, come wait. on, nigga. You can't be representing the fashion umbrella out saying it's bushes out there. It was just her night. It was just her night. It was just her night. It was Somebody could have overheard Somebody, her joke. I don't give a shit. I don't care. So okay, anyway. fine. You're so bad. So, I am, I am. So, you know, we were talking about that. And I said, so what's in it? She said, oh, um, mint leaves, lime, uh, mango, and vodka. Mm-hmm. It's and really so, easy so to make. waiting for the other ingredients. Mm-mm. The vodka had, is it? She, wait a minute, <laughs> she had a clear one with nothing but mint leaves in it. No, and it wasn't. It wasn't just clear. It was clearly with alcohol and vodka in it. I know, but it's so it was good. just straight vodka with mint leaves and. No, is they put the they? I think they actually. So put, they don't cut it with nothing. They do. I think they actually oh, okay. do. That's why, if you notice, it's a little, a uh, little bubbly. I think they actually put a little dash of Sprite in there. A dash of Sprite. It's, I mean, if you notice that, did you notice that yours had a little bubble in it? Usually, I, I believe it's some sort mm-hmm. of splash or, or, or something of, it's vodka. I think it's the, you know, I'm not a bartender. Kitty is masters a lot of things, but <laughs> I am not a bartender. I'm a mixologist. However. You're not a mixologist? Not yet. <laughs> but I'm currently working up a kitty concoction. <laughs> And it's going to be amazing. But that's under the wraps. Yeah, we'll get it together so we can deliver it. We can introduce it on Fashion Week at the hotel. Oh, it'll be absolutely amazing. Okay. okay. Right. It's definitely going to make your paws go in different directions, oh, but well, back Jesus. together. Different minute. directions back together, like you're on a little runway. Dickie. Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I'm sorry. I would never, ever. Everybody, ever, ever, it's ever. due to the mango <laughs> mojito. So we're going to get her back to just drinking wine. <laughs> No, we're going to get me back to just drinking Sprite with just lemon. Just a Sprite with lemon. That's all I need. And, and just put your little couple of the leaves in there. Yeah, that's it. Put some leaves <laughs> some in there. bushes. We're going to give her a fake, a, a fake a mojito. <laughs> but anyway, so Maria's here to talk about fashion, which she does really, 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 really well. Um, I've known Maria for, it seems like, forever. Yes. When I was off the porch, she was on the porch. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> um, her dad and my dad are really, really good friends. And who would ever think that all that time before that we would end up here? Ain't that something? Like, this is crazy. I think about it all the time. like, oh, my God, I remember she was so little. She was such a little girl. <laughs> but anyway, that's telling my age. Is it hot in here or is it me? It's you. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's the mojito. flying off. It's mojito. Okay. So I want to talk a little bit about Fashion Week before we get started because okay. this show is going to go really fast because I'm nice and Maria's nicer, but she had no mojito like I did. So um, <laughs> first I want to thank you for allowing us to use your space. Wonderful. Your boutique call. for the model call on Sunday. It was so nice. Oh, nice. my God. It was awesome. It was. Where were you models all of my life? They, they were, were we all had... tall. Well, not all of them were tall. Yeah. But we have a... We have one, that yeah. a couple that came through that were like, and oh even, my God. Even the petite and plus models were, I mean, they brought their A-game. Yeah, they, they were ready. They actually followed instructions and wore all black. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, except the new, the new green. Green is the new black. Green is the new black. Okay, all right. Well, you we have a know. green dress? I don't remember her because she didn't I have do. on all black. See, if she would have had on all black, I would remember her because she followed instructions. You know, I love models who follow instructions. I said, is that the new black? I don't want to have to steam your dress 55,000 times before the runway. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you would tell them doing under. Hey, listen. I, said, I walked away. I Honey, said, you I will. I will put this. it on someone else. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Honey, I will steam you as you're going down the runway and your, hot, your cakes will be hot. The mojito, the mojito that we that I had tonight came from Talera. Talera in yes. uh, Harbor East. In Harbor East. It's right by, I believe it's um, Rhonda and I. Yeah. Monty's typing me messages. Why? <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, anyway. Shut up. So... Yeah, but they did. They, I mean, it was a really, really good turnout. Um, a lot of them really, really loved the location. I think a lot of it was able to really, really find. You sold the purse. Yeah, yeah. A couple of you sold too because I sold one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, I, and then a few of them wanted to be added onto our mailing list, which I told them it's not just about, you know, pushing the boutique products. I said it has tips on there, and, and even if you know, a lot of models tend to be very fashionable. So I said you got tip, tips on there, a little bit of everything on there. I said plus it kind of also lets you know some highlights going on about you guys in Baltimore Fashion Week. Right. So they Thank was like you. definitely I want to join the uh, mailing list, and um, I think they had a really really good time. The moms even felt really comfortable. Of course, we have a couple of models that. Uh, tend to be under 18 and the moms you know the family members was really really excited for them to be a part of this huge production so yeah it was it went really well yeah, it was really it was good the turnout was good i was shocked i mean i i got there early i arrived early and i was going to I sit arrived down just on time <laughs> i just yes, want to go did. ahead and put that yes she but did. i got there <laughs> but everyone was early it's not a minute like, to pass we had like 30 models, maybe between 25 and 30 models standing outside in the heat before I got there. Mm -hmm. I arrived they focused. at 1235, 1236, and they were standing there already. Mm -hmm. So I just gave out the numbers that we normally use for the um, for the auditions and talked to them while, sorry, and talked to them while they were there and let them know what they can expect and just kept it moving. And I think the way we did it Sunday is the way I'm doing it from now on. Really? Yeah, it was it was really quick. It was fast. Yes, no. No yeah. paperwork needed. I'll send it to you if you're a yes. Yeah. You fill it out and then I'll holler yeah. at you at the and they, and I and um when they started coming in we put that little number in there just in case if I'm there. That was good. Did you remember yeah. that? Because yeah. I clearly forgot to mention it's it. It's okay, yeah. Because I knew that you know, it, it's always good to relate to that, especially if we have somebody there taking pictures. Right. Even if we have somebody take a picture of it kinda of captures. I tried moment. to do that, but, but it's Doug, okay. you was you were severely missed. Doug and Jay, I miss you. You. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I do. I think it was a wonderful turnout. I think they even liked the fact that it was, again, just like Baltimore Fashion Week. It was in the city, mm 
mm-hmm. you know, kind of in the heart or where mm-hmm. all the action is. They felt artsy. They probably didn't mind waiting out there. It was, you know, feeling Everybody good. was walking past. Yeah. Looking like, oh, looking like, oh, yeah, oh. Correct. Fashion is taking over the city. Yes. Baltimore Fashion Week. <laughs> and so, Maria, I forgot to sign an email. Maybe I can do it through my phone. I'll do it on a break. Uh, Maria is also, and this has been something in the works for probably the past three years. Mm-hmm. So, Maria is also the key stylist for the fashion umbrella. So, let me let me let me step back a few a few paces. Baltimore Fashion Week is a fundraising event. The Fashion Umbrella Foundation is the organizer or the parent company of the fundraising event. So I'm only saying this, and I'll keep saying it, because probably by December, the Baltimore Fashion Week pages will come down, if not sooner. And so everything will go under the Fashion Umbrella for branding purposes. So just get ready. We'll, but we'll do plenty of posts. And I, I was talking to my... Um, marketing person from U- University of Maryland at Baltimore and um, we she came up with a lot of good ideas I, like I'm how, so exciting. To, how to um, for tickets we're trying to figure out a way because I, I hate when we have to do the pull the number at the event I can't stand it mm-hmm. so we came up with a different way and one of the ways will be that people can pre-register wonderful. online for the door prizes oh wonderful but they have to be present to get the to get the prize so um. Um, they can pick which day, and we're going to work on that tomorrow, hopefully, if yeah. not tomorrow on Friday. We'll work on it and how all of that will look. So, Maria, tell us what you have envisioned for the designers of um, Baltimore, that participate in Baltimore Fashion Week. Well, I'm excited because I do know that a couple of designers are going to be doing, you know, we are going to be doing towards the end of summer. Um, so I know that we will have some exciting things to bring you towards the seasons. Um, a couple of them have already uh, contacted me. Yeah, They're we'll excited. Today. Um, I do have my new wonderful intern, Miss Christine Kristen Johnson. She's mm-hmm. going to be emailing them. I'll probably have her email them by the end of this week to make sure that they're coming in. I'll give. Do you have all the emails addressed? If not, I can give you copies. Yes, there. I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to email them because okay. you know I do have a contact, but you know time is of the essence. Yes. Um, and the main thing I think I want for them because we have such a huge platform and big things coming up for them is no, go ahead. is to um, you know really really bring um, a sense of um, you know where fashion is going some things fashion forward some things that when people leave Baltimore Fashion Week they're going to be inspired to go home and go wow you know what am I going to do with my wardrobe you know what can I bring back from it you know what what am I missing in my style what am I missing as far as designers I think sometimes we get so focused on big name designers that's great but actually you know in in fashion sharing you know the best designers are the ones that's fairly new they're bringing something fresh and new Mm -hmm. you know I love Michael Kors to death but we know what he's going to bring right right every year Every so when Christian Seriano brought, on a, on, brought the bank, he brought so much change right. to fashion as far as textures and um, detail and drama. And, you know, so new designers bring something so fresh. So I want him to definitely bring that creativity, challenge us who are in the fashion know to think differently about style, to think differently about where designers come from and hidden treasures. So I'm excited to work for them and and, and, and also bring what I can bring for the Top Kitty collection, which is going to be challenging, (laughs) but I'm up for it again. I'm trying to figure out how many hairs I'm going to lose this year, but it's going to be wonderful. I'll gain them back by Christmas. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, Yes. but as long as I have my whiskers. (laughs) And I my paw pumps. <laughs> I can't take care of this cat. Yeah, I really do actually think I'm a cat, but it's yeah, okay. I know, I know. But know. the cat is so feminine and sexy and chic. Meow. We all have a little kitty in us. The guys, too? No. Now, gents, if you went around here thinking you're a kitten, please revisit some things and talk to a couple of people. You're supposed to be woof, woof. Okay? You know, a bit of a growl. Okay. I can't do this with you. In the words of Marnie, I can't. I can't. But I can. And she will. And I will. 
<laughs> so, what was that noise? What was that? That was you laughing? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Probably. That I don't know. Who weird. knows? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. I needed that. And I just want to say that although we have been building on um, me being a part of your vision and your brand, it's it's a huge step for you to be able to take on. I know I've given you the opportunity to see my work with the designers. The designers have been able to correlate. Yeah, right. Well, you don't want to do it either. But all at the same time, I, I appreciate the opportunity, and we're just excited. I'm just excited about it. Oh, okay. Um, that's good. That's good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Marty keeps sending messages. I keep getting sidetracked. I'm like a. So a I want to talk. So there's a couple store. of designers on here that are in high school. Let's talk about them. There's some high school oh, designers. Yes, yeah, tell it us about is them. This is Robert. Oh my God. I'm going to mess it up. Okay. But they are from. <laughs> yes, got the whole stuff. Um, they are from, how, no, Montgomery County. Is it PG County? And so every year, um, my mom and I walk up on Baltimore Street to the Board of Education. They have a um, Board of Education building, and each year they select a high school, and they put a fashion collection in the window. Okay. So we wait for that window. Mm-hmm. So the window's up. I missed the, 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 you know, the date that they put it in, but my mom saw it, and she went there and took pictures and sent it to mm. me. I said, okay. And she, of course, knowing her, she... Went and got the name of the school. So I contacted all three of them, but only one, well, two of them got it. Um, I called the school and told them that I saw their, their um, design exhibition in the window, mm-hmm. and they acted like I had 15,000 heads. So, mm. of course, they were disconnected. And then I talked to the other two schools. One school couldn't make it this year, so we're going to work with them in November to get their students ready. Mm-hmm. for um, Baltimore Fashion Week for 2015. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, and so it's four students. And mm-hmm. because it was four students, we had to we had them all showing on one night, but I had to spread them out. Yeah. And so I told them that um, yesterday morning. They, they understood. That's going to be fine. You know why? Because I think they should, you know, people are going to yeah. be so, you know, once it's announced that they are students, I think people are going to be excited about that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. like I said, I just, I think what you're doing is all about encouraging other people to, Get in fashion. Start early. If well, and, and you know? Especially with the the um, partnerships that we're creating, Marie and I are working with a um, crowd crowdfunding organization that's out of Canada. They contacted me. I think it was it's been two weeks now. Maybe yes. a week. About they cost. They contacted me about two weeks ago about the designers for Baltimore Fashion Week and their idea with crowdfunding. Mm-hmm. And crowdfunding is an initiative where. Mm-hmm. Designers get the opportunity to place their garments on a website to sell. So the goal with this crowdfunding that we're going to start this year is that the garments that hopefully all of the garments that you see each each designer to showcase or boutique to showcase on the runway while you're sitting in your seat during Fashion Week, you can order that garment. Wow! You'll be able to order the garment as it's on a website. We will also awesome. have in the brochure, we'll let you know which garments are available for purchase right now, mm-hmm. meaning that you can go to go to the app that will be um, created, the website that will be created, and go to that designer's name and buy that, uh, that garment that's on the runway. And I think that's awesome to yes. have one or two of the same garment purchased or the entire collection purchased before you even get off the runway. That's amazing. I can't wait until it starts. And I think, I mean, think about it. That's a designer's dream. Yeah. You know, to have when people, you know, where's, you know, the runway makes you emotional. Mm-hmm. It makes you emotional. Mm-hmm. You want it right then. I don't want to wait. Yeah. I need that crop jacket with the ruffles <laughs> immediately in my wardrobe. I need to know where it's at immediately because I've already planned my fall yeah. stuff. I'm a, I know how I'm going to put it. Mm-hmm. It looked great on that size, too, but I'm going to work it in this size 8. And so on the the site that you will go to purchase the garments, the designers will, that their part of their responsibility would be to list the various sizes that Mm -hmm. they have. And so clients, you know, I think to me it's a better way to reach a bigger audience. Of course. Versus, they're kind of sort of the same, a buyer versus this this website. They're kind of sort of the same plateau. Mm -hmm. But I think that... The audience feed would be a better hit, especially with the promotions yes. that we have, with yeah. the marketing 
that we have in place coming down the pipe. And depending upon how successful it is, of course, national retailers and buyers are going to be watching too. Oh yeah. They oh, yeah. Go, oh my goodness, this this collection right was is like moving. And that's the whole idea. That's having a dealers. Exactly. And then after talking yeah, with the Canadian them. company, I reached out to two other companies, one from Germany and the other one is from North Carolina. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. One is a manufacturer and one is a retailer to see if they would be interested in kind of sort of partnering to do the same type of initiative mm -hmm. that way. And Cravada Manufacturing, I they called me and so I'm waiting oh, for them to come. Con con we keep missing each other. So Danielle and I can get that solidified. Wonderful. Yeah, so I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, good. It's going to be wonderful. So what is your favorite look? What do you What do you think the favorite look will be for the summer? Uh, my favorite look for the summer right now is um, I love boho chic. Yes, you do. I love boho chic. Um, that's one of my favorite looks. Um, I, I am into the skater skirt, but I definitely like to do it in a different way. I like to do it with a jacket, and I like to do it with a belt. You know, I think it makes it, depending upon the length, it makes it a little bit more work appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, another one of my... Um, all-time favorite uh well I, you know i gotta have more than one i'm sorry yeah no that's okay I'm you, so you probably have several yeah but 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 this is what i've been working this is into. what you do this is what i'm working into my rotation currently <laughs> is um i love i mean of course everybody is doing a distressed denim which i think is going to be out for a while it's funky you can change it you can dress it up you can dress it down but i'm loving doing um i'm loving doing um, blouses with it like you know having that distressed funky denim but having on a uh, sheer blouse with tons of details or black and white or pattern and then of course going with the single strap you know you got the single strap uh, sandals that are out now and of course I'm crazed about that pointy toe situation yes you are but you know again I think that you know those are kind of everybody's looks, but that's to me, even though I felt like it was out last year, I just think it's a different way to do it where it looks a little bit more tasteful mm -hmm. if you're putting it with a blouse, especially for like a nighttime summer look. Because let's mm -hmm. face it, in Baltimore, it gets a little cool at night. Yeah, it does. So that crop top ain't going to make it. <laughs> it's going to be a little chilly. <laughs> you know, I could do a blouse. You know, cover, you know, want to buy that water? Cover up a little bit. By the know? water. Yeah, by the water. <laughs> Get a little chill. <laughs> you know I mean? Catch a little, <coughs> you know, because it's it is. It's hot during the day, and it, you know, it so um, that. And then of course, I'm loving. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Brescia designer that's featured at House Deco Fash. He has an all white jumpsuit that will bring a tear to every kitty's eye. Mm. Because what he did was, of, it has a peplum, but the peplum has a different shape to it. And, you know, it's just it's just a different twist because it's a jumpsuit and it has a little bit of peplum. And then, of course, uh, the detailing and the texture of it. It's all, to be honest with you, I think it's seasonless because you can wear it now. And, you know, me, I've been a throw a fur boa with that puppy <laughs> for, for New Year's. Happy New Year. <laughs> and Debricio is also showcasing in Baltimore Fashion Week. He will be showcasing on Saturday, August the 16th. So, and he's a returning designer, so his collection is... I have like, saw a wink of it. I mean, you I did? I don't want even want to see Obviously, it. he's got an in-house stylist. Oh. So he did consult with me recently about a few changes that he and I talked about. You talked about? We talked about. <laughs> yes, I could be country or I could be from New York. Either way, however do you like it. <laughs> I can't do this with her. She is just literally off the chain. But all of the designers this year are just, oh, my God. We have one that's coming from Kenya. Ooh, I'm excited. Her collection is. I can't wow. wait. I actually waited past the deadline for her collection. Some things you got to get. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. so the good thing is that all of the designers, um, if they meet the requirements of the Canadian organization that we're working with, all of them can be placed on the website, which is good. Wonderful. We'll start marketing their collection. Um, I'm, the timeline for the marketing 
is solely through the Canadian company because they've tried and proven this. Yeah. So I'm totally going on whatever they tell me That's and it. to do it. And I'm just, we should be meeting, having a conversation with them probably in about, a, um, if not this week, early next week. Oh, awesome. So I'm, I'm really excited. Big things in store. I know. So tickets are on sale. They're on sale now for $20 per seat. You can sit anywhere on the floor for $20. We're not doing the front row seat prices. and We're not doing that anymore for Baltimore Fashion Week. So um, all seats are on a first-come, first-serve basis. Right now they're $20. After the early bird special go ends, they will go up. They won't go up a lot, but they're going to go up. So if you want to get tickets for Baltimore Fashion Week, I suggest that you get them. They are $20, and $15 from each ticket goes to um, three initiatives of the Fashion Umbrella. So we'll talk about that when we come back, and we'll see you in about five minutes. Or well, after the break. Bye. Did you know that birthday parties help build confidence in kids? Yeah. Did you know that giving kids less sugar before bedtime helps them sleep better? Oh, totally. Did you know that friendly kids have more friends? Everybody knows that. Hey, guys, did you know that most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? I didn't know that. Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right car seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. as the big way of communicating. So, uh, Mike's on the telephone. Mike is 45. He wants to talk about the inauguration. Hi, Mike. Hey, how you doing, Wendy? Fine, thank how you, you Mike. Doing? How you doing? I'm all right. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, you know, I watched the whole thing. It was great. Yeah. You know, but the only thing I did not appreciate mm -hmm. is the first and foremost, he did not thank God for getting him where he got to. And second of all, he did not thank Dr. Martin Luther King. He did not mention that na man's name once. Through the primaries, through his elect, got elected. I don't believe that. I don't believe. Well, he if if there were oversights, God and Martin Luther King, I don't believe that it was with ill intention. I don't. I don't either. You know, but just to give thanks because without Martin, he wouldn't have never been there. And a lot of people, you know, of color of that of that nexus, they they wouldn't be where they are today. Yeah, without. And I mean, you him. should just give thanks. I am so embarrassed that we're in the same age group. You you sound like an old, old man. Well, you know, it's just that I'm very wise. No, what is wrong with your teeth? My who? Your teeth. My teeth? Yeah, there's something going on. Your teeth, what, you get a fat tongue, a lazy tongue, big no. lips? What's going on? Ain't nothing going on. Oh, I'm missing one tooth in the front. There you go. Oh, Wendy, <laughs> man, what are you, a psychic? Well, no, but I can hear it because you're, I'm 44, you're 45, but you sound like you're 150. No, no, dear, no, no, no. I think that's your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Mike. Yeah, I love you, too. Thank you for hey, listening. What's up, Charlemagne? And I, no, Charlemagne doesn't work here anymore. Oh, I, oh. Yeah, where you been? Oh, man, I've been at work just working and working and working and working. Yeah, they, they, they gave him the hammer. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well. All right, well, Wendy, well, you know you have a blessed year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on TV. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm looking forward to you getting that new tooth. Oh, yes, I am. My wife is already getting my aim behind about it. There you go. Exactly. Thank, All right. Thank goodness for wives, right? Yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Take care, Mike. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Can you tell if the leftovers from this dinner party are beginning to grow bacteria that could lead to severe diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach cramps? Listen. You can't see it either. Get leftovers into the refrigerator as soon as possible. Spoiled leftovers can make you very sick or worse. Roughly 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year, but you can keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Brought to you by the USDA, HHS, and the Ad Council. Oh, it can get real healthy here on the Lady O Show. So check out what happened last week. It's only that I substitute the seasoning oil. I use the Mrs. Dash. Mm -hmm. I use the garlic powder, mm -hmm. the garlic seasoning. So it's different things that you can change and still make your food taste really good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. So what is one of your favorite dishes that you like to prepare now on, on, on your new 
regimen? Well, listen, I, the other day I made some asparagus soup, and it was absolutely delicious. Next. Oh, Nakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like asparagus. So he don't like asparagus. So let me give you my second um, meal was the crab cakes. I did the crab cakes. Now, we, now you're talking. So wanted, Why didn't you say I that wanted, one first? Go to the toilet. Asparagus. But the, yeah. Let me just share with the crab cakes. It had a, um, I did it with a Melva Toast. Mm. I, um, That's the one you posted it. on Facebook. Right, I've seen exactly. That. Didn't it look pretty good? Mm. I can't even contain it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, continue. But anyway, I'm excited because the Melva Toast kind of like kept the crab cake all together, and it was delicious. You changing food preparation and putting in better ingredients, nutritional ingredients, herbs and spices, it changes your life forever. Mm. The Lady O Show is each and every Thursday at 8 p.m. live right here on BeExposedRadio.com. I'm sorry. I just need Nicole, gonna, stop. I knew you were going to kill everybody's ears. <laughs> like Nicole, that was you. We just, you to we just turned me, Tamar Braxton's Love and War into you, a duet in here. You are such an imposter. <laughs> they knew that was you. Please, they knew that was you. But that this is how deep my voice is. That was not me. <laughs> The crowd got extra loud on that one. They knew. Check one, check two. Damn it! You think we could get some new f***ing microphones in this mother f***er multi-million dollar show that it is every time I hold a mic it f***ing falls down. Hello? <laughs> we have microphones that operate like 80-year-old men and no damn Viagra. Just limp. <laughs> I got scoliosis from having to drag my body down to the console to deliver my message. If people only knew behind the scenes. Mm -mm -mm. I love it, though. I wouldn't know how to act if I actually had everything working and everything together. I'm so used to piecemealing. You know, the mission statement of the show is, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, well. Does that mean I'm back? Am I? Okay. All, all right. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, oh. Are we big Why are you doing whistle? <laughs> Am I live? Am I? Live? Yeah. That means I'm live. <laughs> Molly said picture. Did I hit applause? Picture being a curtain close. He's such a smart A star star. Figure what the other star star stand for. Hey, John, thanks for my tax, boo. That means you listening, dog. Okay, no more mojitos on a Tuesday. I know I, I heard you loud and clear. But I want to talk. I'm jumping back on my baby um, fashion week a little bit. And I want to send out a huge thank you to the three photographers that provided the images for Baltimore Fashion Week. Kevin Higgins provided the main image with Lyric Thoroughgood. Um, I saw her when I went to Virginia to do an audition and a model call, and she was just fabulous. So I had to have her, and I did. And then you'll see her again in Sophia's Magazine. I think it's okay for me to say that, but I'm not going to say what it is, but you'll see her in Fashion Avenue News. And also another shout-out to Step Out Into Fashion, which is the main marketing image for opening night on August 14th. And we're, on that night, we'll also have... Young models perform, not performing, but showcasing ages 7 to 13, which should be interesting. And then on Friday, we have Breaking the Barriers of Fashion. Mm -hmm. So you'll see Miss Rev, Miss, no, Marquise Revlon, Marquise Revlon, Marquise Clanton, a.k.a. Marquise Revlon. I hope I'm getting it right. He will also, he, if you're in Baltimore, he will also be on the cover of the City Paper magazine tomorrow. Did I say super paper? Did I say what? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know, Maria. You don't I'm even, trying to. Um, up, yes. To, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm so he'll be on the cover of the city or the front of the city paper magazine tomorrow, 
And the Vogers will be there mm. on Friday night, and it's going to be so awesome. Oh, my God. I, I can't, can't wait. wait. I can't wait. The formation. I know I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to I already told them. I said I'm going to cry. Mm. So I'm going to need tissue. My face won't be. So they're going to be on the cover of City Paper this week? Marquise is on the cover okay. of City Paper tomorrow. Okay. Because it comes out every Wednesday. So I'll make sure I get a copy of that mm -hmm. and frame that when I get all my framings done. And he's also the mastermind behind the idea um, he selected all of the Vogers. Mm -hmm. I think it's about seven. If you go to my Facebook page on any of them, you'll see the picture. It's a picture block or collage of all of the um, the Vogers that will be there. And it's going to be really hot. It's it's amazing to watch them because mm -hmm. I was watching them when they were auditioning for me. Like, I have a decision in that. But they <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my choice. I'm like, Marquise, what you asking me for? So when they – it's funny because they walk around – the rum to get into the mood of the music but baby that's in the words of a more jay couture mm -hmm. baby when they get into form it is it is it's amazing just, it's going to be and i think <gasps> it's going to be exciting to bring that type of um i don't know i just think that it's it's so fitting to go with baltimore fashion week right and it's it's going to be it's going to be something different. It's going to be good. Yeah, I think it's, it's going. It's if, if anything, it's going to be like what's on what's next. What's on the runway? Yeah, what's yeah, what's next? It's, yeah. it's definitely going to be something. And so on Saturday night we have the joy of fashion. That image is provided by. Okay, I know I'm going to mess his name up. Oh my God, Greg Cooper Spencer or Greg Spencer Cooper. I, Greg is the photographer. I always mess his name up, and he provided the images. For both Saturday and Sunday, um, the Joy of Fashion, which is August the 16th, and the Styles of Fashion, which is Sunday, August the 17th. And we also have um, a group performing doing, doing one of the programs of Baltimore Fashion. I won't tell you when, and I can't release it until July 1, but Team Cooling, you've probably seen them tagging me and stuff, so they will be... Um, performing on Sunday. I'm not going to tell you how. I'm oh, not really? going to tell you where. You know them? them. Yes. You do? You love them? Oh, okay. Oh, good. Yay. So they're going to be um, performing and pro them. You, you do? Them? Oh, okay. I uh, see. Oh, okay. boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Bonnie's in the room. Um, so they're going to be performing during Baltimore Fashion Week, and we're still in negotiation stages of which music will be offering to the designers to use but july 1st is another huge announcement and i all i will say is that when it's announced when this announcement is released um i'm going to say this i'm working with or i will be working with my mentor sophia davis to figure out how she makes it happen because i need to make it happen here and so the decision i was having a conversation with someone they said oh so it's not blah 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 i was like oh was is it supposed to be and so by that conversation coming from someone else, just stay tuned July 1st to the Fashion Umbrella Foundation page where the announcement will be made. So if you're not, if you haven't liked the page yet, I encourage you to go like it, Fashion Umbrella Foundation. Click the like button and stay tuned for news. But yay. But back to Maria. Maria Styles is what they yes. call her on Facebook. That mm -hmm. is what it is. I had to do that. I had to do that. That's so what, what made they you get call into me. fashion? Because I don't remember you uh, uh, doing you know what? You really in the mic, you're going to clear your throat. Um, I think what it all... Oh, well, for me, thank you, Marnie. I can move it. Well, you know. Hi, hi. It's closer. The mic is closer. Oh, it's almost God. touching me, oh. my lips. But anyway, um, I think what, honestly, though, as a child, I've always was, um, I don't know what it was. As a young as a young girl, I always, my mother used to tell me that um, my mother um, had her own business, and she did men's fashion. But my mother used to say when, you know, when guys would bring their girlfriends with them to come buy stuff from her, she said if they was fashionable, I would follow them around her store, and I would just stare at them. So as a little girl, I always knew, like, when I get older, I'm going to, I just can't wait to put on clothes. I can't wait to be fashionable. I can't wait to make a statement. You know, I always was gravitated to women when I was out in a restaurant who was really, really fashionable. And then I also loved reading you know, high-end fashion magazines when I was little. You know, everybody was like, oh, I want to read this. I'm like, no, I want to get this Vogue that's $6. <laughs> and my mother would be like, you got 12 and you're going to spend half of your money on Vogue. Correct. 
this is what I want. This is what I want to do. You know what I mean? Right. I would, I would put, my, you know, my, I love my brothers, but I did. I would have them. I would, they would be my mannequins. I would put stuff on them, you know. And again, and I always had an appreciation. I'm a big movie person too, so I've always had appreciation for theatricals. But I think now that as I've um, progressed into this creativity, I know why. I love the fashion. You that's went to school taught. for fashion or interior design? Well, I, I went to a school for um, business, uh -huh. and then I also did um, some uh, minors in fashion, and I also went to MICA. I went to MICA for um, interior design, and then also, you know, was interested in fashion, too. I think, honestly, when you're in the fashion, if you notice a lot of people who have uh, fashion lines, sometimes get into interior as well. Oh, okay. Because you, you again, it's it's like if you can dress a sexy couch, you can dress a sexy dress. You know, it's just I don't know. That's just me. It's just kind of well, you have that creative edge. You can go either way. Okay. But um, then I really said this is really me, and I think sometimes you, when your dream is so big, you know, you get con a little conformed with you know working and you're making you know good corporate money. At some point, about seven years ago, I said this is it. You know, this is really it. You know, I thought, you know, you don't have to go to New York to dream big to be in fashion. You don't have to go to L.A. You don't have to go to Paris. You know, I think that you can be anywhere and really make an impact in fashion and really do some great things. So that's what I determined. You know, I don't have to be 21 and go to New York and start off fresh. And, you know, no, I can start now. <laughs> what are you looking at? What I'm looking at Robbie because he's. He's telling me that I need to do something. Okay. So I need to give out some numbers that I didn't give out early in the show. You can call us at 855-835-5857, hit extension 1, or you can send us a text if you're phone shy, 443-642-9403. They're open. We employ you to use them. Um, ask us any questions. You can ask us. What color is my hair? Because Friday it's changing. I'm so excited. Mom Shout out to Courtney. Huh? Mind taking pictures of me? Yes, I, I, I don't know why he does that. Because he always gets the bad side of me. <laughs> but luckily, you know, I'm back to natural again. So no more weaves for me for now. Okay. There's no telling what's going to happen on Fashion Week. As Maria says, it's going to be a situation. It's going to be a situation. <laughs> Like that. For quite some time, <laughs> for the month of August. Yes. So I'm excited. Marie and I are working up um, quite a few surprise mm -hmm. things. Yes. That we're trying to put in order. She keeps me hopping. You know, billboards. I'm like, yo. I don't play. I think. Oh, it's a billboard on X Y Z. I'm like, yeah. Well, then you pay for it. You know, it's just like anyway. But billboards, believe it or not, they're really not that expensive. I researched it maybe about four years ago. Yeah. And they're really, really cheap. You would be surprised at how reasonable a billboard can be for four weeks. Four weeks. That's mm -hmm. 28 days. Now, you were the one that was telling me that until somebody else picks it up, it it'll, stays it'll there. Stay there. It'll stay there. Mm -hmm. It'll stay there it'll until stay someone there. else buys it. But I know the ones in the city that aren't that popular, but that are visible, mm -hmm. but aren't that popular. And I also know the ones in the city that you can forget about ever getting because they're purchased at least six months, months to year in advance. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the ones that are on the highway that change their $5,000 for 10 seconds. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's, I don't have that kind of money. I don't have those coins. And even if I did, I don't think I would spend yeah. it for 10 yeah. seconds. That's a lot of money for 10 seconds. For, I, don't, I don't even think you get four weeks of marketing for that. Right. But anyway, so I'm excited. Yeah, about I am everything too. everything in my life. Yeah. Oh. Everything, yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. Well, so there well, you well. go. There. There you go. Okay. There, there you go. But you know what? I think too. I. It, I think now that you have me here, a lot of people don't realize that when you do, when you are a team member with the Baltimore Fashion Week team, you know we are out of the box thinkers. So it's it. If for you to have me on board. It, it is for me to say, Sharon, we should be doing this, or Sharon, we could be doing that. You know what I mean? Um, I know I, I, you know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, but, you know, we got to just run with it. She's sending me a text. Like, oh, I, I'll, I'll just send her a text. In from the 4 in the morning. 21. This is what I'm thinking. Okay. So the models, 20 here, coming in, down this way, down this direction. What's going on? What are we going to be wearing? Couture, hair to the heels. What's going on? I thought 
when I was bad, but now I know how everybody else feels when I text them that mm-hmm. early in the morning. Mm-hmm. But, um, oh, I, got, I forgot to mention something. The press registration is coming. It's in review. Doug Holton is reviewing it now because I need to, you know, photography is not my thing. And we have something in line for the photographers that we're working on as well. Um, so we're working on it and we're trying to get it to you, the registration guidelines, as quickly as possible. But I don't want to release it if it's not right. You know, I don't, I, I like to do forms where every, any question you can ask will be answered. So um, that's that. And there will be a $10 donation that will also go back to the Fashion Umbrella Foundation. We're just trying to raise little funds for the educational fund. And so also we're having an open interview on July 20, I'm sorry, June 28th, not July, June 28th. At 1 o'clock, I'm sorry, Lord Jesus, June 28th, 2014, at 11 o'clock a.m. will be the open volunteer interviews, which is, which is for interns, volunteers, hair, hairstylists, and makeup artists. If you're interested in helping out with Baltimore Fashion Week, this is the day you need to come. Just bring your resume and wear all black. Don't worry about the forms. Just bring your resume. If you're a makeup artist or hairstylist, we need you to bring your portfolio so you can show it to the person that you'll be interviewing with. Do not ask for me because I will not be there. I will be somewhere else. <laughs> so I won't be able to, I won't be able to, I won't be able to, um, what, is, what is he doing? I, w- I won't be there. You can see either Antoine, John, Andrea, Chantel, um, I don't know who else will be there to assist, but they'll be there. And so I think that's all the announcements I have. We did good. We did really good. I know good. the show's not over though, but don't go. Don't go. The show's not over. It ain't over. Isn't that a song? It's not do over. Me, uh-uh. mm. 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 Do, do me, baby. Do me, baby. I said, but right, I, well, that, well, what verse is that? It ain't over. It ain't over. And well, I'm excited about, I'm, I'm excited about the venue too. The what? The venue. Oh, yes. <laughs> the hotel. Yes. The Lord Baltimore Hotel is absolutely amazing. Fantabulous. Ness. It's gorgeous. Oh my God. It's, oh my God. They did a um, re, what do you call it? Not a redevelopment. Um, uh, what do you call it? A redesign mm-hmm. of the hotel, and it is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. And we also have a few spaces for vendors if you're interested. Um, you would be there for four days. So if you're interested in being a vendor for Baltimore Fashion Week, let us know. We still mm-hmm. have a few spaces left. All vendors will be on the balcony level. So that's where you will be, inside the ballroom, where you can see the show. How cool is that? Yes. That's what I do. That's what we do here. That's awesome. I know, right? Because a lot of times when you, I know I, for me, when I'm sometimes doing vending, you can't see. Yeah. And you want to be a part of it. Right. You want to see what's going on. And, yeah, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Sunday is just going to be... I mean, all four of the nights of Fashion Week are just going to be awesome. But Sunday is just, I can't wait. Yeah. And yeah. I get to sit in front row. Oh. I'm not going to be in the back. All right. I'm going to hold you Thank to you it. Probably. Oh, I'm holding myself to it. I'm going to say, uh, Miss Nixon, hi, how are you? Have several seats. <laughs> they have a specific seat for you specifically in the front. Um, <laughs> sir, please direct her to her seat. I will not be she will not be combing a model's hair or doing anybody's blush or lipstick. I know, right? Strapping shit. Yes. So hold on. on, hold on. You. Come here. Come here. Let me lick it, baby. Let me get it. Ew, I don't say that. I'm just so <laughs> But you almost look like you want to do. You just go. You just be moving the hand motions. Somebody, anybody. Flat on, a flat on, a flat on, a flat on. Get this piece. Get this. I need a bobby pad. But I will say this at under. Oh my God! I never knew how much I missed my production team until they weren't there. During under, Antoine and his team were not there, and I was lost. I'm like, I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I don't do that. Where is my child? <laughs> my, he knows the answers. Please just fix mm-hmm. it. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> so anyway, um, but it was a wonderful yeah, turnout. Oh, under, under was under amazing. Was awesome. It was. And under is also um, a fundraising event that we do that is for the petite consumer. So all of our models are five seven and shorter. And next year we're working our plans to go to Virginia. And then 
I don't know, in 2016, maybe Boston, because they keep emailing me. They do. But but we'll see. That's it. We'll we'll see. Because that's, that's a lot of work in an unknown territory. <laughs> but it's worth it. I know. That's you why we have the Internet. We can make a splash when it's warm here. We'll be planting a snowflake there. <laughs> oh, yeah. She has lost it, really. <laughs> so the, no one wants to call in to ask Maria a question. No one wants to call in and ask a general question. No, wants to, no one wants to send us a text. Um, the number is 855-835-5857, extension 1. And the text number is 443-642-9403. Or you can send a message on the Talk Lately Show's page or the Sharon Nixon Show's page. It's the Sharon Nixon Show with me with my hands on my hip. Yes. Like, rah. Yes. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't do the raw. No? No? No cowardly line here? Okay. There's nothing cowardly about me, that's for sure. Hey, John! You still listening? John Fortune, if you're listening, text me. When's my grandbaby coming? I'm waiting for her. Oh, shout out to my grandchildren, Cam and Sierra. So Did you see adorable. his picture on Facebook? He is so adorable. Oh, Cam loves Antoine. Oh, he my does. God. He they does. Just, they just, oh my God. And then when I walk in, he just having like, so, so much grandma. fun. He has so just, much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna make us stop playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they love. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm. Well, I do want to say this. Um, if you ever want to um, join our mailing list at Top Kitty, you can join by text to join. You text MEOW to 42828. Um, it's not just um, we give styling tips. We just sent one out. Did you did you see that, Sharon? Did you get your flexible I style it. tips? I did get it. Um, Baltimore is known for great fashion during a wonderful free festival that we have around. I just gave out some style tips for that. Um, we talked a little bit about what's going on with Baltimore Fashion Week, and we will continue to do that. Updates from models um, as well. Any type of um, great deals that we have from either Debrisio, uh, myself. Um, or any other local artisans that we're going to be doing. Probably in the fall, we're going to get back to something Miss Nixon loves, which is vintage. Oh. Kids on Vintage is coming back, um, featured um, Fierce Kitty events. We're going to just have one thing that's just going to be uh, vintage vintage pieces that you can get at Top Kitty. Um, but again, it's uh, meow, M-E-O-W. To 42828 to join our uh, mailing list. And again, it has tons of tips and everything uh, Top Kitty, Baltimore Fashion Week, Fashion Umbrella. Um, all kinds of great updates on that. So, again, stay in the know to purr. <laughs> stay in the know to purr. Meow. Meow. I'm so excited. Get your style on. Get your style on. Hey, uh, Get your style the, uh, on. Get your style. Oh, the joke of the day. Who's that voice? The person who was yelling at me because I wasn't here at 7 o'clock. That's whose voice that is. Robbie. Oh. <laughs> so Robbie has a joke of the day. The agreement we have is that when I do my show, he would do a joke of the day. So are you ready, Robbie? I yeah. am. Okay. So tell us what the joke. Am I going to laugh? Because you know I'm silly. I don't know. Okay. It's a Chuck Norris joke. No, oh, I hate Chuck, like Chuck Norris Norris. jokes. Why? Mm-mm. These are Chuck, like Norris? Chuck Norris. Yeah. From the 80s? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Robbie. He is awesome. You know he drowned the fish? So the Chuck Norris, now I do. <laughs> did you get what he just said? What Annie, did he say? He drowned the fish. And he slammed a revolving door. <laughs> you drowned the fish? No, Chuck Norris did. That's how awesome he is. You okay, kill him wildlife, Robbie. Speechless. All right, so here go to Chuck Norris joke. So-and-so ain't loyal. I'm just joking. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that quote. Chuck Norris was found dead in the hotel room this morning. But he is currently recovering. No. I don't like you. I don't. No, we need crickets for that one. Nope, no, no. crickets. Crickets. We're still <laughs> Crickets? No. There we go. That's what we need for that one. But it's Chuck Norris. I don't get his jokes. He did a willy on a unicycle. Like what? It's one wheel. See, that's stupid to me. That's the whole point. He's Chuck he's Norris. No. Oh. He's Chuck Norris. 
Oh, shot. he does impossible things. Is that what you're trying to tell me? He might be tuned into Big Exposed Radio. Uh oh. Hey, Chuck. Would it be a sponsor? No. Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, our new sponsors for Baltimore oh, Fashion yes! Week. Oh, yes! yes. Really, I forgot. Oh, my God, sponsors. Please. I love yes. you. I love One you, One of my sponsors. favorite places. Okay, and let me see if I can remember. Blue Magic. I'm going off the web. Man, I'll just put it up on my phone. Okay, Blue Magic. Great Blacks and Wax Museum. Wow. Cold Stone Creamery. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, God, it's one more. Um, Thompson. Thomas Coaching Company. Downtown Locker Room. Landmark, Landmark Theater, yeah, six right now. Well, we have more, but we can't put them up yet. Okay, so that's the six we awesome. have right now. But we have others coming. Believe me, they're coming. You should see our book of sponsors. It's awesome. It's so awesome. And then my intern Amalia, who's from University of Baltimore, is just like a breath of fresh air because she has eight years of marketing for a nonprofit. Oh, wonderful! And she is. The ideas are just crazy. I it's love it. Crazy. I and love it. So, I can't make the meter. Oh, she's awesome. And she's very forward. Like if she doesn't want to do something, she's I don't I don't think that's working. That's it. Me. I need to talk and, to her. Right. I love it. Right. But she's really, really smart. Um she's in a navy. She's in a the reserves. Okay. But she goes to school um full time and I'm getting the blinking light that the show is over. So we'll talk about Emalia next Tuesday. Maybe yes. we'll get her on the show. She's awesome. 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 So that's it for the Sharon Nation show. Tomorrow at seven. No wait a minute. Tomorrow at five we have at the Sugar Shack. Then at seven we have the Talk Lately show. And then at eight we have and then at seven we have the Talk Lately show. <laughs> That's Thank it. you for having today me. Is Thursday. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday. Okay. So that's it. So thank you, Maria, for coming. Thank you for having me. It's well, been wonderful. To go into the, uh, no, I was going to take you into the um, the prize vault, but I can't because we're doing inventory. So I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'll that's take it. crumbs at this point, and I'm sure there's some around. Thank you for coming into the prize vault. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will be taking something today. <laughs> you thank will? You. Okay. Bye. 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 See you next Have week. Love you. Bye. Happy.